So how can we read people and tell if they are lying to our faces? Well, basically, there's a number of cues that you can use that are going to help you develop this skill that's going to help you throughout life because you will encounter liars. Don't worry about that. Now, these tips have been given by Mark Booten, who's an FBI agent who worked in the FBI for 30 years and helped uncover the Oklahoma bomber. So it's not just some things I came up with. These are true and tested methods. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off with everyone's favorite scandal, the Lewinsky scandal. Basically, in this clip, we have President Bill Clinton lying to the people of the United States back in 1998 about not having sexual relations with Monica Lewinsky, who was a 22-year-old White House intern. This, of course, was proven to be false after a prolonged investigation and his own admission to the grand jury. So can you pick up on the subtle cues of a liar in this clip? Thank you very much. Thank you. Please proceed. Now, I have to go back to work on my State of the Union speech. And I worked on it till pretty late last night. But I want to say one thing to the American people. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. I never told anybody to lie, not a single time, never. These allegations are false, and I need to go back to work for the American people. Thank you. Okay, so how can we pick up on a liar? Basically, there's two things you have to consider, and the first thing is incentives. Human beings were incentive-driven creatures. You go to work and trade eight hours of your day in order to get money so that you can buy things that you like. That's the incentive. So when someone's lying, there needs to be a big enough incentive for them to lie. In this case, Bill Clinton had one. He was the president of the United States. He had a huge reputation to uphold. Millions of people were watching him, not only in the United States, but also around the world. He also had his wife by his side, Hillary Clinton. So if he told the truth about his relations with this intern, it would literally ruin him in terms of his relationship with his wife and his social standings he wanted to save face so lying of course seemed like the logical way to go about it most people would take this route if they can get away with lying they will lie unless they are a paragon of virtue the second thing we have to look at when we're trying to uncover liars is to look at their body language and vocal tonality in the clip bill clinton did a range of interesting things for one he shook his head while he was confessing against the allegations that were put forth against them, which is something a lot of liars commonly do. They shake their head because what they know to be truth, that they're lying, and what they're telling you is not congruent, it's not aligned. So the body shakes its head as kind of like a subconscious way to convey what they're thinking without them knowing it. Their body literally betrays them. The body gives off a lot of small indications that cannot be controlled unless the person is an expert liar. And if you can learn to identify those, you'll be far better at figuring out that someone is lying. Another interesting body language cue that Bill Clinton gives off in this clip is the fact that he purses his lips, covers his lips, which is kind of indicative of him trying to hide something. Often when we purse our lips, it's in response to stressful situations. And when we're telling the truth, it's not usually a stressful situation. It's usually a stressful situation if we are lying about something. When you're talking to your friends, everything flows naturally because you are congruent with what you're thinking and what you're saying. When you are lying, everything has to slow down. You have to be a bit more conscious about your word selection, about what you're saying next, a bit more critical about everything which creates discrepancies that can be picked up by the keen observer bill clinton has many of these he has gaps where he's thinking about what to say he is shaking his head he even looks kind of sad as he's walking away right at the end which is interesting because if you notice a difference in someone's demeanor when they're talking to you especially in a high stakes situation where they might be lying it could be because they are lying. When we lie, it makes us feel bad. Our self-esteem is lowered. So it's hard to hide that. Bill Clinton looks sad because he just lied in front of everybody in the United States. And he knows it. So it's very hard to hide those small facial expressions that come up unless you're a sociopath and you don't even see anything wrong with what you just did. 
Perhaps one of the most notorious liars of all time is Lance Armstrong, and this video would not be complete if we didn't feature him. So I'm going to play this clip, and I want you guys to use some of the tools that we discussed to see if you can pick up on the subtle cues of a liar. I'm talking about the head shaking, I'm talking about the pursing of the lips, I'm talking about lack of congruence between what he's saying and what he's probably thinking. So let's play the clip. Did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? That did not happen. That did not happen? No, nope, absolutely did not happen. Did you ever use any other banned substances like testosterone? Uh, no, no, I, I don't, no. Did you ever use blood transfusions to enhance your cycling performance? Absolutely not. You did not? Absolutely not. You were cheating. No. Before we begin any body language analysis, we have to look at the incentives that will lead to Lance Armstrong to lie. He was a celebrated athlete, right? A national hero who won all these medals and was an inspiration to so many people. So him admitting to doping kind of tarnishes his legacy. They removed his medals and people will always remember him as a cheater instead of a competitor. This fact alone would destroy his ego and destroy all the accomplishments that he's worked so hard to achieve. So that is a very big incentive for someone to lie. That is immense pressure for someone to put themselves in if they were to tell the truth. Lance's body language does not help him in the slightest bit. He goes over the telltale signs of lying that we talked about before, the pursed lips, the head shaking. He also has a range of micro expressions that he gives while responding to Oprah Winfrey's questions. Micro expressions being the little tiny nuanced subconscious influence expressions that we give off with our faces that we can't really control unless we're an expert liar. Now, Lance, 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 Lance. He also touches his lips while responding to Oprah Winfrey, which is a very, very good sign that someone's lying. When someone's covering their lips, it literally indicates that they don't want to say something, they don't want to deal with the situation, which means that the situation has generally given them a great deal of stress, often the stress that comes with having to lie, having to cover your ass. So Lance Armstrong is not a very good liar, for people that are well versed in body language and picking up on micro expressions. And yeah. Okay, so let's summarize everything we've gone through in this video. You have to understand that different people lie differently. There is no one cue that gives off um, if someone's lying for every single case. It's gonna be different. So, what you have to do is you need to see if someone is using a range of these things we talked about and also if their behavior seems a bit off because people, we are very, very good at picking up on small subconscious things that might not be able to be seen on the conscious level, small micro expressions, things of that nature. So what you have to do is come in and remove your personal biases, start off with a blank slate. Don't have any favorable um, outcomes of the person you're trying to read. See the objective truth that's presented in front of you and work with that. When we come in with our own biases, it influences what we see and we can perceive someone who is lying as telling the truth just because we like them. Remove all these tendencies and see it as it is and you will get further ahead at reading people. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying?